So let's take a closer look at MIMO. It's called Multiple Input, Multiple Output Antennas. And you'll be surprised how many RF engineers get the definition of MIMO wrong. A lot of people will think, oh, is output from the antennas and input into the antennas. And that's not correct. MIMO stands for multiple antennas inputting into the RF medium and multiple antennas outputting from the RF medium. And the 80211 standards support a 2x2 two two MIMO, i.e. two transmit and two receive antennas, all the way up to a 4x4 four four MIMO, four transmit antennas and four receive antennas. Now if I transmit from four antennas at the same time in the same frequency, those signals will combine over the air. And what ar arrives at antenna one on the receiving side is a combination of the four signals that were transmitted from the four antennas on the transmitting side. What arrives on antenna two is a summation of all four signals that were transmitted from the four different antennas on the transmitting side. Same thing for antenna 3 and same thing for antenna 4. Now the secret is, is that the signals that came into antenna 1 on the receiving side followed a different path than the signals that coming in to antenna 2, 3 and 4. And is that spatial separation that allows me to recover your bit stream from those four receiving antennas. If you're a mathematician, you can think about it as having four equations with four variables. If I have four equations with four variables, then I can solve it. And it's solved using techniques such as maximal ratio combining. But it's fairly sophisticated electronics. And one of the issues is, is that a lot of our devices, like a smartphone, tablets, are fairly small. And they want to keep the cost down low. So even though in theory you could go to four antennas, it gets really difficult to keep them spatially separated enough such that the arriving signals are uncorrelated, such that I can solve those algebra equations we were talking about. So a lot of times you don't go up to a 4x4 MIMO simply because of the client restrictions in terms of form factor and size as well as power consumption because you go putting lots of antennas on there you're really going to eat your power level.